Hello, good morning. Uh, today I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to start to paint um, some little tiny micro paintings. I did this one last night. Um, only took about 20 minutes, uh, less than that possibly. Um, it's with acrylic. Yeah, I've still got a bit more to do. I've sort of like I watched a video um, and it had like loads of glazing um, with acrylics in it, and I wanted to try that out. I still haven't finished it yet, but maybe want to try and do uh, maybe a couple on these vlogs and just you know follow my progress for the rest of the day it might like might like be uh, short little snippets and you know stuff as I go along and then I'll tell you what I've done if I've done bits off the camera and things like that but I quite I quite like it um, just doing a, like a little micro painting nothing special really but yeah I quite like this one actually it looks all, almost like impressionistic this one but I'll try and have another go and do something else on these I just have to dig out the little canvases I think they're in the shed so I'll just go and get them and get everything set up and I'll paint a couple on here today so I've got two little canvases set up I've just put a, an old cloth behind there because I don't want too many drips and stains on this drawing board um, so what I've done I've got some burnt sienna I'll just put some of that in a little palette and just get a bit of water on it get a little paintbrush I'm gonna start to sketch something but I don't know what I'm gonna do really um, possibly like little they're almost like these little painting things paint sketch things almost like the sketch cards but I'm painting something so yeah that's what we're gonna do so I think I'm gonna do maybe another skull but I'll arrange it differently on the paper and yeah we'll just see what what I can do so I'm gonna layer in some of this first is I'm just painting experimentally really I'm not really doing anything um, tutorial based or anything I just like to just experiment so try and add a bit more water to it just try and layer in some bits that I want add the mouth there I'll give it a little tongue or something Something daft, but <laughs> I'll see how it goes. In between these um, sort of pieces of artwork, I'll sort of allow some drying time. So if I chop and change, then you'll know that I've just allowed it to dry um, throughout the day. and sketch something in I'll just move this one along make sure these don't fall off <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about some kind of um, possibly a, like a little serpent thing snaky thing let's just do an experiment a bit more water to that bit dry yeah so these are just regular acrylic paints pretty cheap actually I don't know you know can't really afford the expensive ones at the moment but um, they're Colwyn and Co materials student based and professional arts and craft paints so yeah <laughs> super cheap but uh, I've used these before and they're, they're pretty good acrylic paints actually they provide some good uh, sort of coverage I 
And really on, on these uh, little paintings I want to do some like glazes and things like that and just test some techniques out. Just experiment. I think that's the best way of doing it. So I've got these this mouth thing here. Let me extend it slightly. So it goes right up to the edge. So yeah, I'm going to quickly let these dry for now. So I'm just going to apply like a, a darker glaze over the... Well, I'm going to do a, a glaze of burnt umber over this one. Just experimenting. I have to get it right. Just see what I can do. And over the other one, I'm thinking of maybe a, a red glaze just to test something out. Try and get all the bits at the bottom there. I'll wash that brush out. Give it a wipe there. So I'm going to use a crimson red and water it down and give it like a glaze over this one. Because so there's going to be little sort of like different paintings. And just see how it goes really. That's the whole point of this. Could do with a good experiment with painting. Make it really watery this. Make sure the lumps of the paint are out and it's just watery let's have a go let's hope this don't cover it all mm, a bit more water <laughs> covered it slightly as long as i can see some of the under you know painting of it I'm not too fussed There we go. It's coming through now. Just needs to soak in a bit, I think. So now I'm just going to let these dry again. I could use like a hair dryer or something, but I've got plenty of time. Quick paintings anyway, so we'll just let these dry. So now I just want to add some shadows and things. Uh, I'm going to start with this one first. I'm going to slightly layer in some darker colours. Darker brown over the eyes. Uh, in, it's slightly dry but not quite. But I just can't wait to try and add something to it. Sometimes you can work it to your advantage when you still like shaping things. A little drip fell down there, that's why that white space is there, but I just want to try and fill out this skull image with some more um, layers. That's the word I was looking for. So I never used to use glazes or anything like that properly. Um, I just saw it done in that video um, that I watched um, by this fantasy artist, um, Jeff Miracola, or something. <laughs> I'll have to link to it and remember to link to it in the description. So. Still in the early stages, really, of trying to shape everything out. It's a good idea to go over some of the brown areas as well. You know, the light brown that I'd already done. Just try. 
try and find some sort of pieces, bits and pieces that I can just, I don't know, flesh out a bit. Back when I was at art college, I, I wish I would have done more of this actually, instead of just being stuck in my ways, sort of like drawing and inking and you know, that's pretty much all I used to do, because um, I was sort of like intent on becoming a, a comic book artist and you know, seems a bit daft looking back on old college thoughts and stuff like that but doing more of this would have helped me as a comic book artist as well um, even though I don't want to be well I want to have my own comics but I don't want to work for any other big companies or anything like that I'd rather do my own stuff so these experimental paintings and things um, I'll have to probably let this layer dry before I tackle some more. I think I maybe need some mid tones, or maybe another glaze over the top, maybe a yellow glaze when all that's dried. So I'll probably come back to that and maybe do. I was thinking of adding some black to this one just to try and just add something different. I can sort of like bring that back with other little glazes and stuff like that. So I want the sort of like shadows to recede into the background anyway. So uh, some nice coverage there. So I think the strong black and then the strong red. Well, uh, might complement each other quite well, I don't know. It's all experimental at this stage. The top of the head there. Very little spikes or something. It's got no eyes, I don't think. We'll just keep them eyes off. See how it goes. Yeah. That black tone, it can, I can change that. I can add browns in between and reds here and there and everywhere. And I have to stay like that. Add some more. It's a bit water. I'm using down a bit of that old watered down red. I don't care if it drips. A nice drip will be nice. There we go. Again, we're flushing this one out as well, so. Don't have to be too precise at this stage. In fact, I could uh, blend a little bit of the two together, smudge some of this, add a bit more water, experimental drips. Definitely 
have to let this one dry as well. Maybe some more drips. Oh. I always have quite a few drips. But I'm liking this skull one best. I'm liking the brown colours. So. Um, I'm going to let this one, well both of them dry. And that one can do with the glaze and that one can do with the glaze as well. But I'll just let them dry first. So I'm back to these now. Um, just doing a yellow, uh, very watery glaze for this skull. I just want it to be like a light sort of glaze. Just try and cover most of it. Try and get other little bubbles out of it. Just here and there. Let me dab the top. Don't want to try and lift any more out except maybe the eyes. I want them to be dark anyway, so. And then I'll probably let that dry. And then this one, I don't know whether to do. Well, I'll maybe try a yellow, like little glaze over this one as well. Like make it a bit more warmer coloured. Too watery actually. Not to worry. Still just experimenting with this. Try to spread the yellow around. Sort of like reduced that um, background as well, where it's not as pink. Got hair on the brush there. You know. So I'll just let them dry, and I'll come back to them. And uh, next, we're gonna add some details, and yeah, just more details to it really. So while these uh, continue to dry, I thought I'd just um, show you this again. Um, this was a, a project I did. I think it was 2014. I uh, could be wrong, where I did like, um, sort of like, I'm sure it was daily sketch, horror sketch ideas or something, and, you know, I was going to like do a, a separate video series where I, I developed these quick sketches into, you know, like much longer videos, and I'm still going to, I'm still doing this, um, I'm still trying to do bits here and there, but I, I thought I thought it was best to try and get all the videos uh, done and then put into like a like a scheduled sort of posting and you know release them that way because I think it was best and um, but I just thought I'd just let you know that I'm still um, doing this because um, I did like quick sketches I don't know if there was 50 or something or 60 I can't remember actually to be honest um, yeah so I'm still doing these longer videos um, some was okay sketches and some was not so good sketches, but um, well, I, I like that one. And yeah, so I'm still going to do uh, these longer videos. Uh, I think I'll call them like the development. It was a, a drawing journal development series or something like that. Because um, I created a playlist for it. But um, well, just to let you know that I am still going to do that video series. It's just taking slightly a bit longer than I thought. Um, well, a couple of years. <laughs> but, you know, I do get sidetracked now and again. And um, stuff's happened over the few years and things like that. So, um, no, didn't like that one. But uh, still, stuff to develop though. Like uh, a skull kebab. So I'm, I'm just like, just... Just thought I'd mention this uh, just in case like uh, you've been around 
been a long time subscriber and you just wondered whatever happened to that video series that I was going to do well it is going to happen like an exploded face I'm sure I can draw something better for that one um, a weird character there I like his quick sketches a bloated zombie <laughs> um, yeah I like that idea that, that could be a good illustration actually and these are going to be larger illustrations in my A3 sketchbook um, there's that one there and some kind of hand there and tentacles and stuff and yeah uh, yeah I just thought I'd just show you that just to you know say that I'm going to redo that and that's another thing coming up anyway these should be dry so I think they're near enough dry so I'll try and uh, paint a bit more detail on them uh, I've got some burnt umber which is the dark brown and I want to get the smaller brush now the smaller little bristle brush and just wet that slightly so yeah I said I don't want it to be watery I want it to be it's, uh, Bit of solid colour if I can. So it's been a funny sort of day today I didn't get to start this vlog until I think well after dinner time because I had a little bit of trouble this morning with my daughter trying to get her into school because obviously lately like, they had a week off half term uh, last week so pretty used to um, just being at home um, doing whatever she wants but then when it comes to school sometimes <laughs> there's a bit of trouble like where she what she don't want to go in or she says she has belly ache and stuff and plays me up on the way to school so I had that to deal with this morning and I rang up the school and said oh you know she won't go in she, she won't budge <laughs> you know she's old on to lamppost screaming her head off <laughs> seriously <laughs> You know, I'm not joking, that's what uh, sometimes I have to put away. <laughs> uh, I don't know. And um, yeah, so I rang them up for them to come and pick her up, and then they came. Uh, I think it was about 20 past 10, like uh, well over an hour later, and they said, uh, Oh, you really should get her in. <laughs> I said, Well, I've tried, you know. And um, and they said, well, we, we, we can't take her in because we're busy, so you'll have to take her in. So, yeah, I could have tried doing that anyway, but, yeah, she was all right. So she went in um, the rest of the day and then went to do the shopping. And by the time I got back, it was it was nearly 12, so I wasted a good part of the morning just just being distracted really <laughs> I hate them days but anyway so that's what happened this morning crap story but it's life sometimes it tries to get you down but best not to let it so I'm adding more more sort of um dark shadow trying to build it up slowly I don't know whether I probably won't finish this but I'll try and do a bit more I said that I wanted want to be like a tongue there or something I think I'll then there's going to be teeth there 
we'll darken up slightly and then I can go over that with a, maybe like a light colour the teeth there yeah As for this one, I'm not sure what to do. Just a little bit, bit of experiment today, painting. I thought I'd try something different because I got thrown this morning and, you know, distracted from my little plan. But I can get back on track tomorrow. What a good idea for tomorrow's video. Um, hmm. You'll see anyway tomorrow. <laughs> So as you can see I've just started experimenting with uh, adding teeth and other like little bits of shadow and white bits as well. Just mixing it up, using it like I would um, oil paints while it's wet. Just try and do some sorts of colour. I'm going to go too overboard with it, but just try and thin it all out. Spread some out a little bit here and there. But I did like the brown colour, so I'm going to try and bring some of that back. I'll spread some of that out while it's. <laughs> still wet because the acrylic dries really quick So that and on this one I've just started to add some little teeth bits I haven't really done much on that one it's almost like a a weird killer tomato with a little bit of a body on it I don't know it's nice to do these experimental things where I'm not really I'm not really thinking about um, much really just just Adding paint here and there. I suppose the technique and the other stuff will come later, I suppose. It's not often I do much painting anyway, so it's it's nice just to do something different. Yeah, so I've got a lot of the the dark areas there, Maybe a bit more dark areas in the nose socket thing there. Um, I think it could do with another glaze, so I think I'll I'll come back to that one. I think what I'll try and do is um, do as much as I can on the vlog now and then. Tomorrow's vlog, briefly, I'll show you more that I've done after the vlog so I can sort of update you on it. So I want to do a bit more detail on this one. Can we get some bits of shadow in there? Not too much. Light bits of shadow. Can get some. I don't want too much black on. I put too much on. It's going to be slightly runny. Yeah. Oh. 
So I'm going to let these dry slightly. Come back a little bit, do a bit more, and I'll show you the results in the morning. Um, but yeah, we'll do a bit more for now. So I've done a bit more on here. I've started to add like yellow glazes just on certain areas that I want a bit lighter. I want it more of a, like a, a supernatural type of skull where hopefully I can get it to look like it's glowing and stuff and I don't know, experimental, but that's the way it goes. I've drawn some, well painted some little sweat, red swells in the background there and I've added some viridian green uh, on there and a bit of white just to highlight it just to go around there I don't know what that is a bit of yellow glaze on there just to separate the teeth maybe give that a bit of a glow as well yes yeah, so I'm gonna leave this vlog there something different um, I hope to do more little experimental videos like this but tomorrow I'll resume with some drawings that I've had in mind so hopefully that'll be back to sort of a, a normal thing but I like to do more of these experiments and just see how how they go really but so tomorrow's vlog I'll do a little quick update and show you what I've done because uh, I'm going to do a bit more um, tonight as you can see the, the light's sort of fading it's slowly getting darker past nine o'clock so yeah, I'm going to call this vlog a day for now, and yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.